back. He doesn't need to change it. Oh, that's a good shot. They've got a man out there. Really good shot. Hey, fellas. The cherry pick is down. It's not there at the moment. And Michael Slater's left the commentary box as well. So I dare say he's around there somewhere. We're hearing he needs to be harnessed. He'll be insisting on it because he is very wobbly on heights. But I remember him going up in one of those Red Bull aircraft a couple of years ago. So he's used to this thrill-seeking stuff, Michael Slater. So I don't think the cherry pick will be all that much of a concern for him. Full shot, just a single. No, good call. And he was also on a cherry picker at the back of the studio here, wasn't he? He came up and cleaned the windows at the back of the studio. So, but he has been Googling cherry picker techniques and everything. He's not happy. There was an occasional swear word on the way out. He's not happy with his bosses. This might be him on his way. When's he going to appear, the little champ? There he is. No, he's not. There he's out the back. <laughs> he's no Michael Vaughan, is he? See, Michael Vaughan in the sky box or whatever that was at the SCG. Leaning back on the chair and trusting his English teammates. And there he is. That's his, he's up. He will be able to talk to us because he's, he's mic'd up and ready to go. The news is, Slats, that you've got a fair way to go. Before before it got up, it was a lot higher than that. It's got about another three extensions on the shaft of that cherry picker yet. Inside edge by Sean Mars gets him to 18. So Commonwealth anchor responsible for this. Michael Slater jaunt up to the cherry pick and they proudly support cricket's off-field legends and we've seen plenty of behind the scene unsung heroes in this year. Oh, no. Slats is in the cherry pick and our cameraman of course perform in any conditions all year round. That's Geordie the cameraman he loves it up there he volunteers for it every day he's having a great time. Oh, that's really effectively clipped. Jerome Taylor not happy. He knows the staff, the pads of Voges. And that cherry picker, I think, is at its maximum height now. Just looking at that, there was a much greater angle in that last elbow there, wasn't there? Yeah. there oh, there's the shot. Slats better you than me, I reckon. Yeah, hi. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it, How it, on earth? This is as high as it, it's ever been. It is, as Tubby says, the arm's dead straight. Just yeah, about but, dead straight. You know, Geordie, you have not been this high all day. Yeah, mate. Yeah. How high are we, for God's sake? I think we're about 35. It's ridiculous. I'll try and stand up. The only way I can do it, though, is you've got to look out. I'm stuck, Geordie. I'm stuck on something. You're right, mate. You're good. Oh, I have got a harness on. It's all right if I look straight out. It's a hell of a view. <laughs> now, what we're doing, do you want me to commentate this ball? It's all right if I look down here. And it's a picture, this ground, actually, Bunston Arena. It's looking in great shape as that one is hit out to the man deep. Now, what we're actually doing, the whole point of me being up here is to talk about, through Combank, the off-field legends. And Geordie is one of the off-field legends. Now, Geordie, we never get to see you other than these great camera shots from afar. We've got 31 cameramen around the ground today. And uh, you are the off-field legends that take all these beautiful shots into the homes around the country, around the world. In fact, wherever you're tuning in, and you are our off-field legends. So thanks to Combank, we just wanted to let it, the people know that you are hard at work all day, but you're never seen. Oh, we but we see it. your pictures. <laughs> Mate, we appreciate it. We all love it. It's a joy to be up here. It's a great view. It's a great country. I know. It's not that windy, thank goodness. How do you cope on a windy day? 
Mate, uh, I can tell you it gets a hell of a lot colder than it is right now. This morning it was about 15, 10, 15 degrees colder. Yeah. Um, plenty of, uh, plenty of uh, layers, things like that, you know? Yeah. Gloves and stuff. But at the moment it's lovely. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm in the shorts, as you can see. Mate, can I say um, you're, not, you're not my favourite? The reason you are up here, mate, you're on now, so don't mess this up, okay? <laughs> Round the wicket, through to the keeper. If you weren't up here, I would not be up here either, Geordie. Are you sure? I reckon you'd be all right. And I've got to say, Mark Taylor, there's room for you here as well. No, mate, you're doing a fine job. Talk about leaving an opening partner in the lurch. Run out against Lats. How do you compare, how do you compare this to yeah. that Red Bull super plane you are in a couple of years ago? <laughs> Why are you so scared up, up here? Yeah, well, actually, you can get used to it being still up here, whereas that plane was the silliest thing I've done. I wanted to try bungee jumping. I did that and, and never again. Actually, the one thing I would do again is the plane. That was incredible. I won't do this again. This is stupid. Because you just... I look over the edge and there's nothing. I can't actually see what this is attached to. It just looks like it's going to fall. But everyone's looking up laughing. Why does everyone laugh when you do stupid, stupid things like this? All right, let's wrap it up. Okay, get me down, please. Oh, nice, that's it. Well done. Thanks, Thanks everyone. He's happy. He's Thanks, happy. everyone. But off-field legends, Jordy's one of, of those. Day. And all the cameramen, thank you for the coverage. Well, I can tell you, having for the AFL footy show, had to abseil forward off a seven-storey building a couple of years ago. It is horrific. It's, it's, if you are scared of heights, there's no fun in that at all. You can tell from, from Geordie's voice, though, he, he loves it up there, doesn't he? And today would be a good day. As I said, I don't like heights either, so I was much happier to see Michael Slater up there than me. But tomorrow might be a bit more of a test for Geordie. He, he will rug up tomorrow. He'll have about five or six layers of, of clothing on because there's predicting a little bit of a... A lot more of a breeze, probably about 16, 17 degrees, and the wind chill factor will be pretty solid up there. So people like Geordie and the, the guys who get in up in light towers and top of grandstands and what have you, they do a, a terrific job right throughout the summer and I suppose throughout, throughout the year with the footy and what have you. Well done, lads. Oh, good shot. He's found the gap.